Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Mathematics, channel with really interesting questions every day. And in this video we have a really interesting challenge, this looks like a pretty easy problem, but many of you are going to get this wrong, and you'll probably be a little bit shocked, but don't panic, I'm going to fully explain you why you're probably going to get this wrong, and how to avoid this particular mistake. Well, let me go ahead and tell you the problem we have. So we have 3 minus 3 divided by 3 minus 3. On the first side this is very easy problem, we have subtracted we have division, so everyone learns this stuff in the third grade, so that's fantastic. So right now go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. We have three options, A, B and C, so choose one option, what do you think is the correct, and write your option down into the comment section. We will check our answers in the end of the video, but I don't want you to use your calculator right here, because this is very interesting challenge and it's really great to check our answers and let's use our super brain in our head. So here's our question, here's our option, choose one option, what do you think is the correct, and write your option down into the comment section. So first part of students solve this question like that, so we have 3, 3 minus 3 divided by 3 and minus 3. So one part of students say that we can start from this subtraction, so we have 3 minus 3 on the left hand side, which is equal to 0, and 3 minus 3 on the, on the right hand side, which is equal to 0, so the 0 divided by 0 equal to 0. So one part of students told this question like that, they say that 0 is a correct answer. But right now we need to understand that in mass we should know about the order of operation, because this is very chaotic solution, we jump from left to right, and this is in terms of mass, this is absolutely incorrect, because we should know what is the correct order to do this problem, because obviously whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, so we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem. And for this question let's look for example at this PDMC order of operation. This is a, a mass operation order, we have a lot of steps right here, the first step is parentheses, so from the top to the bottom we should go through the steps, first step, second, and as you can see we have the same, uh, the same color right here, so multiple application, division, addition and subtraction. So let's start from these parentheses and let's scan our question. So we have 3 minus 3 divided by 3 and minus 3. So let's start from these parentheses. Mm, let's scan where do we have these parentheses. As for me I don't see any parentheses, so we just skip this part. We don't have any parentheses and let's go to the next step. The next step is exponents. Now we need to scan where do we have exponent, maybe squares, cubes. As for me personally I don't see any exponent, we have like a regular exp expression without any exponent, so we just, we just skip this part. So we don't have parentheses and we don't have exponent. Let's go to the next step. The next step is multiplication and division group. A lot of students do this mistake, they say multiplication, now we, we should multiply at first, but it, this is one common group, multiplication and division, and we need to find multiplication and division sign. So let's look at this. So right here we have subtraction, we don't interested in this, right here we have division, so we we interested in this expression. And the last step is subtraction. So as you can see we have we have divisions, division part, and we don't have any multiplication part. And I want to say that right here in the last group we have addition and subtraction. We don't have addition, but we have subtraction. But if you look closely to this PMDMC, division is all the time before subtraction. So we need to divide it first and then subtract. Or we need to multiply it first, then add something. So a multiplication and division, this is one common group and we need to do it at first and then addition and subtraction. So as I told before, we, we should start from this division, so we have 3 minus, we have 3 divided by 3 equal to equal to 1, and we have 3 minus 1, and right here we have minus 3. So pretty easy expression, we have the last step, we have, we have subtraction, so we can easily subtract this expression, and we have 3 minus 1, we have 2, and 2 minus 3, we have we have minus 1. So our, our correct answer is option C. As you can see, this is completely different answer with this one, 0, because a lot of students do, do this mistake, they subtract at first, which is absolutely wrong in terms of mass operations, we have 0, we have 0, which is absolutely wrong. Of course, with parentheses, if you put brackets, if you put parentheses, then the, this question will be correct, because we should start from parentheses, which is our first step, and then this subtract will be in parentheses, so this is good to start from these parentheses, right here we have 0, and right here we have 0. So then with parentheses, this question will be will be correct, but without parentheses, this is not a correct answer, so we forget about this option B, and the correct answer is option C, as you can see right here, we solve it according to a correct order of operation, so our correct answer is option, is option C. Is option C, so if you need help with any of these classes, you can 
you can just go through my YouTube channel, I have a ton of videos, so with that being said, I definitely wish all the best in your mathematics adventures, thank you for your time and have a great day.